Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Sonny Winters, back at you with another episode. Thank you for tapping in. Today, I got a story of a different kind. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a bit of a uh, historian, if you will, documentarian, if you will. Uh, so today, I'm going to get into something that, you know, I love to touch on anyway on this channel. Not only survival, but outlaw business. So today, we're going to touch on the Rufus Buck Gang started founded by Rufus Buck, July twenty eighth, eighteen ninety five. You know, it might sound familiar from the uh, recent movie on Netflix, Harder They Fall, produced by Jay Z. It's a dope story. Um, the actual characters in the story are, are actual real people, but the story was a, a really dope story that was made up. But the people were actually real, so I kind of wanted to get into. Um, being there, I'm, you know, kind of always touching on stories here on Sunny Winters TV. Uh, figure I'd get into a little bit of that. So, like I said, the Rufus Buck Gang was founded on July 28th, 1895. It was a multiracial gang whose members were, like, pretty much part African-American and part Creek Indian. Okay, the, the crime spree only took place between July 30th through August 4th, 1895 in the Indian Territory. You know, the Indian Territory pretty much are like uh, terms that describe land that was set aside for the relocation of Native Americans who held Aboriginal rights and titles to, of the land as sovereign independent state. So that was like Arkansas, Oklahoma area. You know, like I said, it founded in 1895. It wasn't a long run they had. That was uh, July 30th to August 4th. Pretty much they ran amok. Uh, it was founded... Of course, by Rufus Buck, and the gang also consisted of Lewis Davis, Sam Sampson, Momoa July, and Lucky Davis. I always thought these, these cowboy dudes had like the illest names. Cowboy dudes and mob dudes always got the illest name. So they pretty much um, went on a killing spree after killing Deputy Marshal John Garrett on July 30th, 1895. The gang began holding up various stores and ranches in the Fort Smith area. And during the next two weeks, in one incident, a salesman named Callahan, after being robbed, was offered a chance to escape if he could outrun the gang. When the dude, which was actually, he was an elderly dude, he successfully escaped and the gang killed his assistant in frustration. So they was uh, definitely running amok. Um, pretty much after that, they, you know, they ran across a white man and his daughter in a wagon. They held the man at gunpoint, took the girl. So that's like a kidnapping charge right there. They killed a, uh, a young black boy. They robbed county stores of West and Jay Norberg in Oklahoma. Um, they murdered two white women and a 14-year-old girl. And there was a, a slew of other charges, pretty much. These guys, you know, Bad, bad news. They, you know, short reign of terror. I think it sounds like to me, from my investigation, sounds they was like late teens, early twenty. You know, this is the age where, you know, young men have a lot of energy. So it sounds super familiar, just in a different time, you know. But they pretty much got caught up. Uh, they got captured in Musco Muscogee, and it, with a combined force of lawmen and uh, Indian police. They pretty much got hung, man. July 1st, 1896, they got hung together. You know what I'm saying? Whole crew, the Rufus Buck gang. If you didn't get a chance, check out the movie. It was kind of ill. For them all to get hung together at the courthouse, I think was kind of ill. You know, this is not a time where you can rat on your man and get out of it. Listen, we all did this. It's all the same day. You know, it sounded like it happened because most of this happened in the Fort Smith area, which at the time was like the largest county in Arkansas. So it was over in Oklahoma. So I guess the, as a territory, the way the law seemed at that time, they could just be tried and convicted. And it was actually, they got convicted of two death sentences. The first one got put on hold just in case of an appeal. And then the second one upheld. And of course, all you need is one death penalty. But, you know, I appreciate y'all for tapping in. If you didn't already, hit that subscribe button. It's most, most appreciated. It's your boy Sonny Winters, and I'm out.